guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In yesterday's video, I shared this photo here sent in by Joe Fisher out of Minnesota of a very bizarre sky. I mean, this looked very ominous. A ghost double-decker rainbow infiltrated by lightning and again, the purplish-red sky made for an ominous photo. Well, I've received more footage from that same night, same general location out of central Minnesota from the night of August 26th that I want to share with you guys. There's been some very strong energy moving across the northern tier and it seems like a, a lot of that energy was concentrated over Minnesota here recently. I've also got rare video footage from all around the world in both hemispheres, the southern and northern hemisphere of mysterious objects in the nighttime sky and this segment will be in 4K format. But first over here at the, the homepage of the website, today's feature photos, the same photo I had up yesterday of this mysterious purplish red sky photo taken by Joe Fisher out of Minnesota, checking in on the GOES X-ray flux over here at the, the Space Weather Prediction Center. You can see a, a fairly strong M-class solar flare in the last 12 hours. The, the Earth-facing side of the sun, not near as much activity as we've seen for the past week. A few active regions and sunspots, but all in all, pretty quiet on the Earth-facing side of the sun. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera, looking at the seismographs that, that monitor the mighty supervolcano. If you look at the entire collection of seismographs. You can see the majority of the earthquake activity, these red vertical lines, is concentrated in the, the northern part of the caldera. The southern half of the caldera is fairly quiet, with the exception of this dark blue you see down here at Moose Creek. That represents magma intrusion. All in all, guys, this is really pretty quiet at the supervolcano caldera. I know this looks like a lot of activity, but you got to keep in mind, Yellowstone's a big deal. It is a very big supervolcano, so I would expect a little bit of activity from time to time over here, and, and that's really what we have. There's nothing major going on right now at the supervolcano caldera. Looking at the power outage situation over here at poweroutage.us, speaking of Minnesota, they're looking at 11,279 customers without power, 17,800 in Michigan, and 10,800 in the state of Virginia. Wanted to show you guys something over here at ventasky.com real quick. This is a long-range forecast, so it can and will change, but right Right now it's showing a hurricane in the northern Gulf of Mexico on September the 11th. Again, this is a long-range forecast. It will change. But in the meantime, just prepare for the possibility of a major hurricane in the northern Gulf of Mexico around the 11th of September. I wouldn't necessarily count on it being right here in this specific location. And just so you know, I have seen long-range forecasts over here at ventasky.com that were very, very accurate. But again, this is a long ways out, but it is showing right Right now, a major hurricane in the northern Gulf of Mexico on September 11th. But again, look for that to more than likely change. Here's that energy that's been moving through the, the northern tier of the United States. This is round three, quite possibly round four, of a series of storms that have moved through the, the northern tier of the United States, causing widespread power outages. We just saw 300,000 plus power outages in Michigan here a few days ago. But I want to start off with the mysterious lights in the nighttime sky. Here we go. We're going to start off in the Northern Hemisphere, Georgia. This video footage was sent in by David Cobb. Check this out. He was just filming the nighttime sky, these three stationary stars off in the distance. I'm assuming those are stationary stars. When this appears down here at the bottom of the screen, check that out. Some sort of a rogue light just appears and quickly disappears into the nighttime sky. It wasn't an airplane, it wasn't a helicopter. Check it out. I'm going to zoom in for a closer look. Here we go. What was that thing? I'm going to zoom in even closer. You can clearly tell that that wasn't an airplane or a helicopter and had decent size as it was a fairly good ways away from him. Here I ultra zoomed in onto the object. Let me pause it right there. Look at that thing. Some sort of a very bright object just appeared in the field of view and very quickly disappeared, not making any sound at all out of Georgia. Going to the southern hemisphere, New Zealand. Mark, out of Pegasus, New Zealand, looked up and saw these lights moving through the nighttime sky. And they just very simply looked out of place. This one over here is an airplane. 
You can hear the noise in the background. That was a, a small aircraft moving through the nighttime sky. This object and an object in front of it right here is what he was focusing on. They looked out of place. They weren't airplanes. They weren't helicopters. Once again, this video footage is out of Pegasus, New Zealand. Video footage taken less than 36 hours ago from New Zealand. Going from New Zealand across the water over to Australia. Here we go. More mysterious lights in the nighttime sky on August 26th. August 26th was a very busy night. James out of Canberra, Australia looked up and saw this at 3.24 a.m. Notice the lights around this primary large light blinking. You'll see one here. You're going to see another one up here. You're going to see multiple lights blinking around this large stationary light. This light reminded me of a light I shared with you guys yesterday in the nighttime sky out of Livingston, Texas. Did you see that flash of light right there? There's more than one object up there. In fact, there's a lot of activity surrounding that bright light but it looks very similar to what was spotted from Texas. And I insert it here in just a few seconds and you'll see the, the stunning similarities. Looks like the same object was spotted in the Southern Hemisphere and the Northern Hemisphere on the same day. And here's the insert. I put the, the Texas video over here on the left. This is the Australia video over here on the right. Also, August 26th of 2024. Notice the similarities. I think it's the same object. It's got kind of a dark feature in the center, appears to be almost tumbling in place at times. Looks like the same object, doesn't it? Spotted thousands of miles apart, and notice the bright flashing light next to the object in, in Australia. Great videos, guys. Thanks for sharing. Going to Tennessee. Check this out. Tim out of Athens, Tennessee. Couldn't help but notice this object that was similar to the objects that we just saw out of Australia and Texas. Something in the sky that wasn't an airplane or a helicopter. He was very taken back by it. No sound of a prop or a jet motor on the night of August 23rd at 9.50 p.m. Again, no sound, no blinking lights, just cruising through the sky all by itself. Just background noise, he says, from I-75, the noise that you do hear. This had no blinking lights. I don't know if this was some sort of a large drone. He asked me to take a look at it and see if I could figure out what it was. And I did zoom in on it as close as I could get, and I didn't see anything that was obvious. Appeared to be a couple of lights that were attached to maybe an object that we couldn't see moving through the nighttime sky above his location. That was a good observation by Tim out of Athens, Tennessee. Here's where I, I zoomed in super tight. And again, you don't see anything recognizable. Just some sort of a, another mysterious light in the nighttime sky, this time in the Northern Hemisphere. We saw two out of the Southern Hemisphere, New Zealand and Australia. So it seems like here recently there's been an increase in these unusual sightings, not only in the nighttime sky, but I've got some daytime footage that I want to share with you guys. This next segment has narration I want to share with you guys. This video footage is out of Humboldt, Arizona by Christopher. Don't you think you'd hear it by now? Yeah. No, look at it. How far is that? Yes! 
And as you can tell, Chris and several witnesses saw this mysterious object in the nighttime sky. Typically, rocket launches have some sort of a trail behind it. You don't normally see this glowing red haze following a rocket launch. This just kind of appeared after the fact. It just disappeared into the nighttime sky actually very quickly, and there's no long tail behind it. It wasn't making any noise, and usually rocket launches when you're this far away don't typically make any noise. But it disappeared, and then this this appeared out of nowhere that, that caught them by surprise. They were very taken back by what they saw from Humboldt, Arizona. Great video footage, guys. Thanks for sharing. I'll take you guys now back up to Minnesota. First video was sent in by Ben Johnson out of Anoka, Minnesota, August 26th, 2024. In fact, all of the, the footage out of Minnesota is from the 26th. This was as storms were moving into the area. And then the sky started putting on a real show. Double-decker rainbow and filtrated by lightning multiple times. Multiple people had multiple photos and videos of that phenomenon. Here's an orange double-decker rainbow also from that same location. Here's another pinkish purple one sent in by C out of St. Louis Park, Minnesota. Yes, August 26th, 2024. Same night as the, the purplish red photo that we just saw on the homepage of the website. And notice the lightning infiltrating the double-decker rainbow. Very cool. Cool stuff. And going from purple skies to orange skies, Joe Fisher, Inver Grove Heights, 826, 2024. Check out that sky. This is completely unedited. I didn't do anything to this video except put his name on it. I mean, the skies were definitely putting on a show. This is two nights later, 828 of 2024, also from Minnesota, Gray Cloud Island. Looked like the video that Joe just shared with us. That was a, a photo sent in from the night of the 28th. Coming up is nonstop lightning, guys. So if you're sensitive to the strobe light effect, you may want to skip this part as it's pretty intense and it's unedited. Also out of Minnesota from the night of August 26th. So if you're sensitive to the strobe light effect, this may not be for you. Video sent in by Jen and Rob Eisen out of Rochester, Minnesota. This is unedited. There was no sound. It was just nonstop strobe lightning. And guys, I didn't put this in fast forward. This is exactly how the the sky was behaving non-stop strobe light at times. You saw the, the purple, pink rainbows, red skies, orange skies, and then this high octane lightning that was making no sound, and you saw no cloud to cloud or, or cloud to ground lightning, very little if any at all. Just a very intense strobe light show, once again, coming out of Minnesota. So for some reason, the skies above Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan here recently have been loaded with energy. Thanks for the photos and videos, guys. Keep them coming. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. If you guys have any videos you'd like to share that are too large to attach to the email, come over here to the homepage of the website. Look for this red banner that says, Have a Large Video. It's a Dropbox. Drag and drop your video into the Dropbox. Please include your first name, date, and location, and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.